he'd better shut up. I've got my own opinion about that. Now that's typical, isn't it? He really didn't deserve that. Be careful, Mom. Please don't get upset, Mom. It's okay. Don't say you didn't know you that. You just have to listen. Let's wait and see what happens. I can't take care of everything for everybody. That's exactly what I said. So why won't they listen to me? So why won't they listen to me? Let's wait and see what happens. That's not what my husband thinks. It's better to watch out. Well, nobody hey, I don't know, know you. What do you it want here? Like are you forever. headed for the tavern? That's totally obvious. I'm not touching that. No, I'm not headed for the tavern. Yeah, that's what that? I would have said. But that isn't important, and that's why we can get straight so down sure. to business. Since you're new here, I'll you make you an offer. You give me 50 gold pieces and you can go. That's your entrance fee for the tavern. There have been all kinds of rumors. It was just like you said. But I don't want to go to the tavern. You, you know, sooner or later, everyone wants to go into the tavern. It was so you can pay like right now. Said. Then you'll have it over with. You already know what I think. Let's find out what the militia thinks of that. Like forever. <laughs> the militia isn't here. And you know why they aren't here? This here is the Harvard District, Runt. I'm in enough trouble None of the militia is. will pick a fight with me down here. You At the most, they go to the Red Lantern. You see, it's just you, know, you and me. He should have known better. Forget it. You won't get a single coin. Where did then you I'll take everything you have. As soon as you're lying on the you ground in like front of me. Attaboy! 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 Yeah, that's the ticket. Ah. What you waiting for? Ah. Don't yeah, stop that's now. the ticket. Oh. Those are all just rumors. Where did you pick that up then? Those are all just rumors. I already thought as much. Who said we'll that? see about that. All right, all right, you win. What do you want? You know your way about the harbor, don't you? Sure thing. Why? That's How's the shipping traffic? The only ship that's come here recently is the Paladin ship. It's over there, behind the rocky ridge yeah, to the right. southwest. Why don't I see any militia? They don't dare come in here. Those are all just we rumors. take care of things ourselves. I'm not touching that. What kind of rumors are floating about? Around here, ever asked we don't that. like people who ask too many questions. Especially I'm not if they're decisions. strangers. Who said that? That's the first I've heard of it. I don't want to hear that. I must be crazy. What are you doing here? That's nothing new. Hey, Laris, you old scoundrel. How did you get here? I was able to escape to the Valley of Mines just in time, together with Lee and some of the other boys. You remember Lee, don't you? Of course I remember Lee. I got out of the colony with him then, just after the barrier was destroyed. He and his boys are now on the farm of Onar, the landowner. He made a deal with the farmer. He and his boys defend the farm, and Onar feeds them in return. I hardly know what to believe anymore. Nothing's ever gonna change that. Hey, you! It can't go on like this forever. Tell me more about Lee and his mercenaries. What do you want to know? Why aren't you with Lee and his mercenaries? But I am, just not on the farm. You could say I'm our outpost in the city. We don't want the ship to sail without us. You don't have to ask me that. What ship were you talking about? It's on the open sea harbor, behind the cliffs. Lee and a few of his people really want to get away from here. But that could take a while. Why? 
You'd better ask Lee about that. If you meet him, he's got plans. How do I find the landowner's farm? It's quite simple. You leave the seaport by the east gate and then follow the path towards the east. I can take you there if you want. Tell me more about the mercenaries. Well, if you're as tough as you were back then, you shouldn't have any problems with them. Most of them are ruffians, and if you can't stand up to them, you won't get far. <laughs> if you're squeamish, you don't have a chance of joining them. I must talk to the paladins, by any means. What do you want from them? They've got a powerful amulet, the Eye of Inos. I must have it. And you think they'll give it to you? You'll never get into the upper end of town. I'll find a way somehow. Sure. If you want to ingratiate yourself with the citizens or play errand boy for the militia. I can't believe that. Do you know why the paladins are here? Nobody knows for sure. Lots of people think it's because of the orcs, but I think there's another reason. It probably has something to do with the old penal colony. Okay, let's go. I cannot leave here until we know more about the missing people, or someone else takes over my duties. That would be a problem. He should have known that. Can you teach me something? Sure. I can help you become stronger and more dexterous if you like. Why haven't I heard about this before? Teach me something. You didn't get that from me. I could have told you that. Come back once you have more experience. Nobody ever asked for my opinion. Good. Your strength has increased. How are things? If you want something to drink, you'll have to order it. I bet you overhear a lot of things. So what's that to you? I've always got an open ear for news. Have you got your purse open then? Every piece of information I give you will cost 10 gold pieces. That's the first I've heard of it. I'll give you no more than five for your information. What? Five gold pieces? Are you trying to ruin me? Let's make it seven. No, it doesn't work that way. Let's say six. You're a scoundrel, you know that? Well, if you insist, let's say six gold pieces for each piece of information. Give me something to drink. I need information. Who counts among the influential citizens in this town? You won't find anyone down here at the harbor. The only powerful man here is Lamar. The moneylender is not very popular, but he has gold, and other influential citizens owe him money. The merchants and craftsmen also have a lot of influence. Too much, if you ask me. Who's in debt to Lamar? <laughs> if you want to know that, you should take a look in his ledger. Only it might be pretty difficult to do that without him noticing. As far as I know, he always carries it with him. Who can teach me something here? There are a few competent people here in the Harbor District. Carl the blacksmith is a sturdy fellow. I'll bet he can show you how to get stronger. Alric knows a lot about fighting, and Laris is a cunning rogue. He's down here at the Harbor sometimes as well. And if you're crazy enough to go see old Ignaz, he knows all about Al... Al... Mich Potions. Where can I find all these people? Oh, boy. The king will have won his war against the orcs before I've done explaining that to you. Just look around the harbor district and you're bound to find them. And if you don't know your way about, go to Braham and buy yourself a map. He's easy to find. His hut is right next to my tavern. 
I should have charged double for that one. What do you know about the missing citizens? All I know is that some people have vanished during the last few days. It's especially bad down here at the harbor, they say. Maybe you should ask around here a bit. There were some cases in the lower part of the city, too. If you want to know more, you should talk to Corrigan. He has his tavern in the lower part of town, and he's likely to hear a thing or two. Halvor, the fish merchant down by the quay, might know something, too. Many people frequent him. Where can I find work? You're not likely to find work down here at the harbor. You need to go to the craftsman in the lower part of town for that. But if you wield a decent blade, you could go challenge Ulrich. He fights for gold behind the warehouse. Is there any special work to be had around here where I could make some quick money? Something special, you say? Hmm. Go talk to Nagur then. Maybe he can help you. Got anything special for me to do? I've got something for you, but that should only interest you if you're a man of versatile talents. What have you got? Well, Zorus, the potion vendor in the marketplace, currently has a guest, Darren, the fire magician. And? He had a new chest made specially for him by Thorben the carpenter. They say that this Darren has bought a bunch of valuable stuff with him, but you didn't hear that from me, understand? Cardiff says you may have a job for me. Well, well. So you're looking for a special job. Okay. But we play by my rules, understood? What does that mean? That means you do what I say and you get a third of the profits. If you don't like it, then there's no job. We're business partners, so it's 50-50. Okay. I thought I'd give it a shot. Of course, we'll split our profits fairly. All right, what's your plan? You know the merchant Baltram, don't you? If not, it's time you talk to him. This Baltram has a messenger who supplies him with goods from Akil's farm. That is, he had a messenger. Until I cut his throat. And now Baltram has to get a new one. And that will be you. Your job is to get hired by Baltram and fetch the delivery from Akil. You bring it to me and then I'll set it on to an interested customer. He'll fork over a tidy little sum for it. And just don't try selling the stuff yourself. Have you got all that? Where is Akil's farm? Leave the city by the east gate. That's directly on the marketplace. If you follow the road to the right, you'll soon come to a few steps cut into the rock. Go up there and you'll come to Akil's farm. Where can I find Baltram? He has his stall in the marketplace. How much will the profit be? I can't say exactly, but I estimate around 400 gold pieces. When should I talk to Baltram? You can go right away. He should know by now that his messenger won't be showing up anymore. <laughs> Well then, I'm all set. Good. Then get in your way. But if you try to cheat me, you'll soon be every bit as dead as the messenger. Don't forget. a little worse for wear. Haven't slept in a long time, have you? Too long, I should say. Come on, step closer. With me, you'll find what you're looking for. You don't say. You said that you've got what I need. Does that include information? But of course. What is it you want to know? That's not what my husband thinks. Are there any other traders here at the harbor? If you keep to the left at the key, 
You'll find Helvor, my husband. He sells fish. On the other side, there's Brahim, the cartographer. Really, how interesting. What interesting things are there to see around the harbor? Well, if you're looking for some action, you can go down to Cardiff's Inn at the Quay. There's always something brewing there. You can hardly miss it. The guy standing by the entrance there will certainly draw your attention to it. Besides that, there's the large ship of the Paladins, the King's Stately War Galley. That one's really worth seeing. You'll find it if you keep left at the quay and then pass under the high rock face. Has anything exciting happened lately? You could say so. It wasn't that long ago. A thief ran by here. He must have stolen a bow in the lower part of the city. Of course, the militia came here way too late, like always. He got away from them, just jumped into the harbor, and he was gone. Do you know anyone from the upper quarter? <laughs> if I knew anyone up there, I wouldn't be standing here, my boy. Who says things like that? Show me your wares. What do you want? I wanted to have a look around here. Then where exactly are you headed? Actually, I was on my way to the upper quarter. <laughs> yeah, right. And I was about to board a ship and have it take me to the king for an audience. People like you and me haven't been allowed in the upper quarter since the paladins came. Are you a citizen of this town? If you mean do I live here, yeah. But still they won't let me into the upper quarter. Mm. Only the Toths can get in there are the merchants and craftsmen from the lower end of town. The people from the harbor district don't carry much weight in Corinth. There isn't even a regular militia patrol down here. Has anything exciting happened lately? Not long ago. The city guards turned the entire harbor district upside down. They were searching for stolen property. <laughs> there have been plenty of thefts here lately, especially in the better quarters. They're obviously trying to blame the poor suckers at the harbor for everything. What interesting things are there to see here? There's a, a cat house here and a tavern. The landlord's name is Kardef. If it's information you want, he'll be the right person to talk to. Do you, uh, need money, by the way? Are you giving it away? No, but right across the street here is the, uh, house of Lamar, the money lender. I'm sure he'll give you a few gold pieces. Just go ahead. Do you work for Lamar? Hmm, smart kid. Hey, you! Why are you hammering? For days now, I've been desperately trying to fix the leaks in my house. The rafters have been crumbling away ever since we had those rainfalls recently. Soon everything's gonna come down around my ears. Thank you. 
inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. Martial law is immediately declared in all cities and regions of the realm. All civilian judges are to hand over their duties to the royal paladins, effective immediately. The Honorable Lord Andre is commanded to punish every crime or act of resistance against the King's guards most severely. What led you into this poor area? What are you looking for here? I'm just looking around a bit. Ha! Huh. Then you better not be caught looking around. It would seem that we have a few thieves in the city who would steal stuff from the rich people. The city guard recently turned the harbor district upside down, but they didn't find anything. Can you teach me anything? Oh, I'm forging a few fittings and nails and repairing iron pots. But I don't know enough about forging weapons to be able to instruct you. If you want to learn that, go see Harrod. He sure knows how to forge weapons. But if you want to train your muscles a bit, well, I can help you with that. How much do you charge for the training? Fifty gold pieces, and I'll help you to become stronger. I want to train with you. Good. We can get started as soon as you are ready. What do you know about the thieves? Nothing. But all the citizens are scared and have become distrustful, particularly towards strangers. Don't get caught in strange houses. No one takes kindly to that. Yeah, you gotta protect yourself against thieves. A sturdy cudgel works best. You've come just in time. I'm in need of an assistant for a magic experiment. I'm sure you're eager to do me a favor for science's sake. Easy, my friend. First tell me what this is all about. I have developed a new spell, a spell of oblivion. I've already successfully carried out a few practical applications, but I don't have time to conduct one final test. Tell me more about the experiment and the spell. The spell serves to make somebody forget various events. So far, I have only found it to work when the person in question is angry, for instance. If he has been knocked down or robbed, even if he has only witnessed such a deed, he will scratch it from his memory. So I'm supposed to knock somebody down and then put a spell on him? Yes, I think you get the point. But to make somebody angry, it is enough to attack him. You don't have to knock him down. So you should pick somebody who's by himself. If there are other people around, you'll just get into trouble with Lord Andre. Also, it makes no sense to cast the spell on someone who's busy attacking you. Wait for the right moment. What's in it for me if I help you? I could teach you how to brew potions. I know the recipes for healing and mana essences and for potions of great speed. 
All right, I'll try out that spell. Then take this spell scroll and find yourself a suitable guinea pig. Once you're done, come back and tell me how it went. City, huh? I'm Brian. I'm Master Harrod's apprentice. Can I buy weapons from you? Not really. I'm merely an assistant. The weapons that are made in this smithy are collected by the militia and taken to the towers where they're stored. But if it has anything to do with forging, maybe I can help you. What's it like to be the smith's apprentice? Why do you ask? You want to be my successor? Maybe. Why not? I'm almost done with my apprenticeship, and then I'm gonna leave the city. But not because of Harrod. He is a good master. I have learned a lot from him. Why do you want to leave this town? Because the people here are getting on my nerves above all the other masters. I still remember what a fuss it was getting accepted as an apprentice with Harrod. Really, every one of them jokers has something to say about it. I want to decide for myself who I can or can't take as an apprentice. What can I get from you? I can sell you some steel billets. Tell me more about Master Harad. He's not in a very good mood right now. A few days ago, the paladins came and ordered him to forge some swords for them. They've even forbidden him to sell swords to anyone else. Now he slaves day and night to finish the job as quickly as possible. Who are the other masters? Well, there's Thorben the Carpenter, Bosper the Bowmaker, Constantino the Alchemist, and Matteo. He sells armor, but first of all, he's a merchant. All the masters have their houses here on the street, and Constantino's shop is in the underpass to the temple. Wait a minute. Do you sell weapons too? Forget it. Everything I make goes to the paladins or the militia. I have a commission for 100 swords from Lord Hagen. He wants to equip the city guard. I'm looking for work. Hmm. I could use a new apprentice. Brian will have finished his apprenticeship soon, and then he'll leave the city. Are you good for anything? If you mean, do I know blacksmith's work? No, that's not what I meant. Sooner or later, the orcs are going to lay siege to the city, and then the only men who will count will be those who are in a position to defend our city. And I won't take on anyone as an apprentice who will disgrace me by fleeing the city with the women and the good-for-nothings, instead of holding the fort here with the men. I'm not a good-for-nothing. Those are big words. Can you back them up with big deeds? What are you getting at? Bring me an orc's weapon. Orcs have been seen near the city. With a bit of luck, you won't have to search for long. If you manage to bring one down, I'll take you on as an apprentice, provided the other masters agree. Let's talk again about that orc thing. What?
Your orc is as good as dead. Good. Then stop wasting your breath and let your deeds speak for themselves. What do you want? I'm not giving anything away. I'm in need of healing. Why? Are you injured? Yes. There's barely a scratch on you. And I have more important things to do than to talk to you. I'm looking to become an apprentice. Really? And with whom are you going to sign up? I want to sign up with one of the other masters. You have come to ask my approval? Hmm. As far as I'm concerned, you can sign up with whoever you like. Can I sell you some herbs? If you have any to offer. I want to sign up with you as an apprentice. With me? No! I have already had the dubious pleasure once of grappling with an apprentice. That's quite enough for me. I invested several years in his education, and in the end, the poor fool up and poisoned himself. Go sign up with one of the other masters. What will I have to do to become your apprentice? <sighs> I couldn't bear yet another dilettante on my conscience. There is a multitude of herbs out there. Used in different variations, they develop the most diverse effects. You probably don't even know half of them. <sighs> Here. This is a list of the most important plants. Bring me a plant of each kind, and I might reconsider taking you in as an apprentice. About the plants... If you cannot handle that by yourself, you won't be any good as an alchemist either. I see. Show me your wares. Shut up. Boy, that lunatic's hammering is wearing me down. Who are you talking about? Can't you hear that hammering? Who do you think hammers all day long at the Harbor District? I mean that lunatic felon. He takes the hammer to his hut every day. Are those your sheep? The only one that belongs to me is the one that answers to the name of Lucy. <laughs> That's my wife, Lucy. The sheep belong to the militia. All the sheep they collect from the farmers, they bring to me. And how are the sheep? Felon's hammering is going to drive them crazy. One of these days, they'll go completely to pieces. I could take care of Felon. You want to help me? What's in it for you? You tell me. Oh, that's how it is. All right, if you can get him to stop hammering, I'll pay you 25 gold pieces. But I'll tell you one thing right now. You can't talk to the guy. He's nuts. 
The only thing that will help is a few decent punches. If I beat him up, I'll just get into trouble with the militia. Down here at the harbor, no one pays much attention to brawls. But if you steal around here, or mess with the sheep, you'll be in trouble. I'll see what I can do. You can think about it. Remember, I'll pay you 25 gold coins. Hey! Hello, are you feeling quite well? Fine, just as long as I manage to get all this repaired in time. Hey! Could you stop hammering? No, I have to finish this. I'll give you ten gold pieces if you stop that hammering. Hey! That's very generous of you, but as to your gold, you can... Well, you know what you can do with it. Just quit hammering, okay? Just try not to bug me too much, okay? Stop that hammering or I'll break every bone in your body. Forget it, or I'll knock some sense into your head with my hammer. Don't you try that again. Hey. Okay, so you beat me. Some heroic deed that was. Will you stop hammering now, or do I have to thrash you again? No, don't hit me anymore. I'll stop. But if everything collapses around here, it'll be your fault. Felon will hammer no longer. Hear that? No more hammering. At last, I thought the fellow would never quit. You've done me a huge favor. You know what? I'll give you 30 gold pieces. And how are the sheep? The sheep eat and get fatter and fatter. Just like my wife. <laughs> Explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. By reason of the imminent danger of an attack by orcs, each inhabitant of the city is to prepare himself accordingly. Everyone is to be